this this question feels like it follows on quite nicely. It probably be the last question as we're getting quite quite close to time now. But um, I've got this question. It's a financial question, um, which is again anonymous attendee. Um, it's what is ultimately the asset we invest in. Ten years from now, do you think Seafields will still cover the whole process and not specialise in the most differentiating um, steps? Uh, uh, e.g. harvesting, downing, the algae, etc. What are you, we really investing in if this activity should become a whole industry? Yeah, that's, it's a good question. And, you know, the reality is um, we need to do the hard yards to start with because no one, you know, the, the industry doesn't exist. So we, we, we kind of need to cover off all of those different elements. Now, what's quite fortunate is that, well, probably not fortunate to the to, to the residents of the Caribbean and Mexico and South, and South and North America, but you know this this in, this invasive influxing sargassum has created a bunch of companies that are solving specific problems. You know, Nico talked about the harvesting problem. You know, that means we don't need to solve that problem in order to have a a, a fully sort of um, uh, life cycle process. Um, so we need to look at the overall, you know picture and find out where the, the gaps are and, and and we go and solve technology problems within those gaps and simultaneously become an operator uh, over time we're going to be doing less and less of the operating and more and more of the technology provision because we are a technology company and within that is a huge amount of valuable licensing f uh, fees um you know this this idea of of, of stommel pipes is, is a concept that's been around since the 50s um and it's not been made to be commercially viable yet that's because it's not been dealing in such valuable markets, number one. And number two, um, it's it's uh, it's not trying to solve specific problems that we have with sargassum, which is namely we need the heat exchanger element because we've got to keep the nutrients in, in, in the top of the water column in order to, to, to fertilize our farms. And so that has huge, huge value beyond just feeding sargassum farms. You know, it has value in in phytoplankton, as Victor said. It has value in fish farming, and it basically it's it's an essential tool in the third agricultural revolution. So anyone that wants to go and farm the open ocean will have to rent or license this this, this sort of technology of us, and that's just one component. So whilst we are being, um, you know, force is the wrong word, but but it's a necessity that we do the operation in the early days. That is not our long term ambition. We want those EPC companies, uh, oil and gas. Uh, shipping company we had a huge amount of shipping uh, interest from shipping companies you know, that know how to operate in the open ocean at lengths of time that are looking for life beyond fossil fuels you know they they need their they have their own their de decarbonization strategies are existential threats right so they're looking for what comes next so we see um that sort of middleware of this industry being uh the operators um and and we're already getting you know i had a bbc article that was on uh, 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 interview that I was on relatively recently and I had uh, CEOs of two major shipping companies contact me you don't get contacted by <laughs> CEOs of very major shipping companies unless you're kind of onto something um, so we're not you know again I don't want to sound sort of flippant about it but we're not worried about how the operation is going to happen uh, we are focused very very strongly on developing the technology building moats around that technology so protecting it IP protecting it knowing uh being the experts on sargassum being the experts on growing it containing it uh providing nutrients to it um that it doesn't make it won't, it won't make sense to compete with us it just will make sense to license our technology james can i just quickly ask there's lots of really interesting questions which you won't have time for um uh, can you just ask people to send them to um again to the to the um email address Absolutely, Rich. Um, uh, so, yeah, the, if your question hasn't been answered, if you've not put it in anonymous, anonymously, uh, we will be able to take your contact details and get back to your question. If you don't, um, I will, um, at, at the end of the presentation, I'll put up a slide for a few minutes, which will have the, um, the email address, which just to remind you is investors at seafields.eco. Um, as well as a QR code that will link you directly to the uh, Crowd um, CrowdCube campaign, which is, let me just remind myself, is open until, is it the 23rd of May? Is that right, guys? Yeah. No, it's, yeah. 23rd it's midnight, I think that's Monday, is it? Yes, 23rd of May. Okay. 
Um, so it will remain for me to put that slide up. Um, please do get in touch uh, with Seafield if you have any questions. Uh, but Nico, Victor, Rich, John, thanks so much for taking time out today and, and all you um, attendees as well. Thanks so much for taking your lunch time today to, to come and hear Seafield's talk. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you.